friends welcome back to your upsc today we are going to start with the last topic in climate of india that is climatic regions of india so let's get started so climatic regions of india see if we look into whole of climate of india we can see that our climate is tropical monsoon type of climate okay so we have tropical monsoon type of climate okay and if we divide it into broad categories then we can see that we have two types of climate one is in the north of tropic of cancer and another one is at the south of tropic of cancer so in the north we have temperate climate and in the south we have tropical climate okay and the classification of indian climate is basically done on based on two elements two climatic elements that is rainfall and temperature okay now out of this rainfall and temperature rainfall is the most prominent one okay so the distribution of rainfall in different region is the basis for classification of the climatic regions of india okay along with the temperature now various scholars whether it be foreign scholars as well as indian scholars we have foreign scholars like ld stamp we have copain we have thornwith then we have trivart etc etc and in uh, indian scholars we have subramanyam dr subramanyam then we have dr r l singh etc who gave various classification of indian climatic zones okay now some of the subsequent attempt were made by dr ld stems then we have copain then we have trivartha thornwith then rl singh they were actually most prominent one so one by one we will study the distribution of climatic regions of india on the basis of these different scholars so the first one is dr ld stem the classification that was given by dr ld stem was empirical arbitrary and subjective but it actually used quantitative limit to the region okay so he actually used temperature and rainfall for understanding all these units okay so temperature and rainfall they were one of the factors that were included in ld stems classification 2 okay now what he basically did was he broadly classified these india into two broad region okay on the basis of 18 degree isotherm so this 18 degree isotherm he calculated on the basis of mean monthly temperature from july okay so the mean monthly temperature of july the line joining these points he drew a line okay the isotherm line which categorized which divided india into two that is first one is the temperate or continental zone so here we have this one is 18 degree celsius isotherm line okay so this line it has divided india into two categories two parts okay so the northern one is the trop temperate or continental zone and the southern one is tropical zone okay and further these two are divided into total 11 sub climatic regions okay so these climatic regions are first one is himalayan region it is in temperate continental zone okay so temperate continental zone has five sub parts first one is himalayan region that is the area of heavy rainfall then we have northwestern region that is the area of moderate rainfall then we have arid lowland okay then we have region of moderate rainfall and then we have transitional zone okay now we have tropical zone that is the region of very heavy rainfall then we have region of very sorry region of heavy rainfall then we have region of moderate rainfall then we have konkan coast and last we have malabar coast and lastly we have tamil nadu okay so the temperate one is divided into five categories and 
the tropical zone is divided into six subcategories. Okay. So the first one is the Himalayan region. Okay. So if we look into the Himalayan region, it actually embraces entire Himalayan region. Okay. From here till here. Okay. So Indian part here and then this part, some of these parts and these parts. Okay. So the entire Himalayan region is covered by this zone. Okay. And this zone, if we move from west to east, it includes state of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh. Then we have large part of Uttarakhand. Okay. And the western region if we see, sorry, the eastern region if we see, we have West Bengal, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh which are included in this region. Okay. So, if we look into the temperature, so the winter and summer temperature, Winter temperature is 4 to 7 degrees Celsius and summer temperature is 13 to 18 degrees Celsius. Okay. And the higher reaches if we see, they are perpetually covered with snow throughout the year. Okay. The average rainfall that is received by this area, it, it exceeds 200 centimeters in the east. But it is comparatively much less in the western part. So here we have quite huge amount of rainfall. But in the western part, we have not so much rainfall. Okay. And if you look into the representative state, so we have Shimla in the Jammu, this western region. And here in the eastern region, we have Darjeeling. Okay. So they are these are the representative cities. Okay. Then we have second one this triangular shape so this triangular shape is northwestern region okay so this northwestern region it includes northern part of punjab southern part of jammu and kashmir and this area here we can find the temperature of 16 degrees celsius in winters and in summer we will find the temperature rising up to 24 degrees Celsius. Okay. And here Amritsar is the representative city. Okay. Then we have third area. Third area it is in the arid lowland. Okay. Here we have vast dry area which includes Thar desert of Rajasthan. And along with it we have some part of Gujarat that is the Kutch region of Gujarat and western part of Haryana. Okay. So these three they are included in this arid lowland. Okay. Here the temperature in winter, it varies from 16 to 24 degrees Celsius. Whereas the summer, the temperature shoots up to 48 degrees Celsius. So the summer temperature is quite high. Okay. So if we look into the range of temperature, so the range of temperature is quite high in this region. Okay. Now, if we look into average rainfall, average annual rainfall of this region is below 40 centimeters. Okay. So, this is the arid lowland. Okay. The next we have the fourth part that is the region of moderate rainfall okay so the region of moderate rainfall it is a part of Punjab Haryana Western Uttar Pradesh and Union Territory of Delhi Northwestern Plateau of Madhya Pradesh and Eastern Rajasthan okay so so much areas are included in this region okay and here, if we see the annual rainfall, it is about 40 to 80 centimeters and the temperature in January is 
15 to 18 degree celsius while if we look into july temperature then the temperature is about 33 to 35 degree celsius okay and the rainfall it occurs mainly in summer so we have dry winters and the representative city here is delhi okay now the fifth one is our transitional zone now the transitional zone if we see it is the area sandwiched between the area having low rainfall and the area having high rainfall okay so this area is a transition zone between these two so here we have average rainfall okay so the rainfall it it ranges between 100 to 150 centimeters okay and it covers the area of western uttar pradesh and bihar okay temperature here in january is 15 to 19 degrees celsius whereas in summer it is 30 to 35 degrees celsius okay so these were the five reasons regions of north india okay that is above the 18 degree isotherm okay now we will talk about the area below 18 degree isotherm okay so first we will have this region that is the region of very heavy rainfall okay now this area if you look it receives more than 200 centimeters of annual rainfall and here it includes areas of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, Mizoram and Nagaland okay the temp rainfall here is above 200 centimeter but we have some regions like Mosin Ram and Cherapunji which, re which receives rainfall ranging above thousand centimeters okay so like we have chera punji which receives rainfall that is 1102 centimeters whereas we have mosin ram which receives rainfall that is 1221 centimeters okay so uh, these regions are having very heavy rainfall and the temperature it remains around 18 degrees celsius in january whereas rises up to 30 to 35 degree celsius in july okay so this was the sixth region now we will look into the seventh region now the seventh region is the region of heavy rainfall okay now this is the region of heavy rainfall and it includes chhattisgarh jharkhand gangetic region then we have West Bengal, Odisha and coastal Andhra Pradesh. Okay. This region it receives rainfall ranging from 100 to 200 centimeters. Okay. And the rainfall is primarily brought by the monsoon winds which are coming from Bay of Bengal. Okay. So the moisture laden winds which gets their moisture from Bay of Bengal. They strike the land area or the coastal area and they start giving rainfall in this region now if we look into the distribution of rainfall so the rainfall is uh, by these monsoon winds as well as cyclonic origin also okay and as we move from east to west the intensity of rainfall are uh, it keeps on decreasing why because the moisture laden winds when they strike the coast they will give the heaviest rainfall here and as they will move further their moisture will keep on decreasing hence the amount of rainfall will also decrease accordingly okay so the temperature here if we look into january's temperature it is 18 to 24 degrees celsius whereas in summer it is 29 to 35 degrees celsius the representative city here is Kolkata. Okay. Then we have eighth, eighth one. 
eighth one is the region of moderate rainfall. Okay. Now this region it includes the area between western and eastern Ghats. Okay. So the area between western and eastern Ghats. And it receives comparatively low rainfall. Why? Because it first it lies in the rain shadow area of Western Ghats. Okay. So we have rain shadow area of Western Ghats here. Nextly, the moisture laden winds which come from the Bay of Bengal, they actually dry out when they reach this area. Okay. So this area, it overall it receives less rainfall. Okay. So the annual amount rainfall, average annual rainfall that it receives is 50 to 100 centimeters. Okay. And the temperature here in winter is 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. Whereas in summer, it shoots up to 32 degrees Celsius. Now, Hyderabad and Telangana, it is the representative city here. Okay. Now, the ninth region ninth region is the konkan coast now actually i have drawn it wrongly but it ranges from mumbai to goa okay so it ranges from mumbai to goa and this region So we have Mumbai in the north in the strip and then we have Goa in the south in the strip. Okay. So this strip is the Konkan coast and it receives rainfall over 200 centimeters. Okay. And this rainfall is brought by Arabian Sea branch. Okay. So the Arabian Sea branch of southwest monsoon winds, they bring the rainfall. Okay. Temperature here is fairly high and it varies from 24 to 27 degrees Celsius. Okay. And annual range of temperature here is very low. It tunes to up to 3 degrees Celsius. Okay. So if we look into whole these regions, these coastal regions, we will see that the temperature range is really very low. Okay. And it mainly shoots up till 3 degrees Celsius. Okay. So all the regions we will see that the temperature variation average temperature variation is 3 degrees celsius okay now here mumbai is the representative city the next we have malabar coast malabar coast is it extends from goa okay so from here till kanyakumari in the south okay so it extends from goa till kanyakumari and it receives a heavy rainfall that is over 250 centimeters. Okay. So this was the Konkan coast. Now this one is the Malabar coast. Okay. And the temperature if we see it is in the vicinity of 27 degrees Celsius. And the range of temperature is same that is 3 degrees Celsius. Okay. So the annual, uh, sorry, the range of temperature is 3 degrees Celsius and the temperature is in the vicinity of 27 degrees Celsius and the representative city here is Tiruvananthapuram. Okay. So this was the Malabar coast. Now lastly we have Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Now it is a separate climatic region because of... Uh, two basic reasons. First is here, first the areas that is it includes is Tamil Nadu and then we have Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So we have Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu in this region. So the rainfall, it varies from 100 to 150 centimeters. So it get quite a good amount of rainfall. Okay. But the rainfall that it gets is in the month of November and December. Okay, so this is the first thing. And the second thing is, it gets rainfall from the retreating monsoon. Okay, so the retreating monsoon, when they crosses Bay of Bengal, they carry 
they get some moisture from this region and then they move forward okay so when they are moving forward they strike the coast of tamil nadu and they give rainfall here so first reason is that they get rainfall from north east monsoon winds okay that is retreating monsoon and second they receive rainfall in winter and that also they receive cyclonic rainfall okay so we have cyclonic rainfall the temperature it remains somewhere about 24 degrees celsius okay and the change between summer and winter is not so much and the variation in the temperature is same that is 3 degrees celsius chennai here is the representative city okay so this was about rl stems classification of climatic zones of india okay now after rl stem we have next one that is copens classification copens we have already done in uh, climatology when we studied the climatic zones of the world cropen thornwit and trivartha's classification so we will skip the introduction part of these three okay so now if we see that the copens classification we already know that it is based upon annual and monthly mean of temperature and precipitation okay so annual monthly mean temperature and precipitation are used for the classification of the regions okay climatic regions now the climatic boundaries that he has set up is based on the vegetation because if we look into the flora so the flora it depends on temperature and rainfall uh, sorry temperature and rainfall on the so it depends on temperature and rainfall for its growth okay so on this basis we have already discussed what what and how he divided the categories okay so out of these category india has six climate uh, sorry nine climatic regions okay so the first one is monsoon type with short dry winters that is amw okay then we have monsoon type with dry season in high sun period okay that is monsoon type with dry sum dry summers okay that is as and lastly we have sorry next we have aw that is tropical savanna type then we have bshw that is semi arid and same steppe type then we have bwhw that is hot desert type of climate then we have cwg that is monsoon type with dry winters then we have dfc that is cold humid winter type with shorter summer then we have et that is tundra type and lastly we have polar type that is e okay so here we have copen's classification on the map so the first one is amw amw is monsoon type with short dry winter season okay so this as we can see it is found in the western coastal region and south of mumbai okay and here the area it receives over 300 cm of annual rainfall in summer from south southwest monsoon winds coming from arabian sea side okay the next we have as as is basically monsoon type with dry summers okay so here we actually it includes the region of uh, coromandel coast okay so we have tamil nadu here and adjoining areas of andhra pradesh which are included in it the amount of rainfall is uh, 75 to 100 cm okay and this is mainly brought by the retreating monsoons okay that is in winters now we have aw aw is basically tropical savanna type of climate this climate is mostly found in peninsular regions okay so except for these three the most part of peninsular region is covered with this type of climate only okay 
now we have northern boundaries of this climatic regions if we closely look at this boundary we will see that it is in proximity with tropic of cancer okay so tropic of cancer is forming this boundary okay the average rainfall here we will see is about 75 cm okay and this rainfall is received in summer season from the southwest monsoon and winter season are mainly dry then we have bshw so bshw is semi arid steppes type of climate now this area as we can see it lies in the rain shadow region of western ghats okay so it lies in rain shadow regions of western ghats as well as if we look into rajasthan region it lies here okay so rainfall here varies from 12 to 25 cm okay and the areas that are included are some part of haryana then we have gujarat and most of the part of western rajasthan okay now here if we see that then we have some arid steppes vegetation found here okay summer we get rainfall which ranges from 12 to 25 cm and in this region winter are completely dry but if we look here then we have western disturbances which causes rainfall okay then we have cwg cwg is basically monsoon type with dry winters this type of climate is found in most part of gangetic plain okay so gangetic plain along with the eastern rajasthan then we have assam and we have malwa plateau which are included in it okay so it covers large part of country okay most of the rainfall it occurs in summer winters are dry as the name suggest the temperature it rises up to 40 degrees celsius in summers whereas winter they are temperature falls to 27 degrees celsius okay now then we have dfc dfc is actually cold humid winter type with shorter summer okay so some of the northeastern states such as sikkim arunachal pradesh and some part of assam they have this type of climate where the winter are cold humid and are of longer duration okay so the winter temperature here is about 10 degree celsius and the summer here are very short but they are also humid okay then we have et ET actually suggests tundra type of climate tundra type of climate is found in the mountainous areas of uttarakhand okay and the temperature it varies from 0 to 10 degree celsius okay then lastly we have e that is polar type of climate so this e it actually higher areas of jammu and kashmir and himachal pradesh they experience this type of climate okay so this type of climate is experienced by them and the warmest month the temperature it varies from 0 to 10 degree celsius in the warmest month okay and some of the areas are mostly covered with rainfall okay if we include the peaks and if we exclude the peaks then also most of the year if we see some of the areas are covered with snow so this was copen's classification next we will study thornwitz classification okay so thornwitz classification as we all know he gave two indices first one was precipitation efficiency index and the th second one was thermal efficiency index okay so this the according to these indices he actually he actually combined and he had 120 combinations okay now out of these 120 combination 
combinations uh, 32 regions climate they were found in real okay on the world map out of these 32 india has 12 climate okay so thornwith classification we have the concept of evapotranspiration okay so he actually believed that uh, the growth of fauna flora it does not depends on does not only depends on amount of rainfall but it also depends on amount of evaporation see he actually said that if amount of rainfall is very high okay but at the same time we have amount of evaporation also very high okay then the vegetation would be less dense as compared to the region where the amount of rainfall is higher then the amount of evaporation okay so he actually worked on the concept of evapotranspiration and on this basis he bring out these two indices that is precipitation efficiency index and thermal efficiency index okay so he divided india into 12 categories so these 12 categories are here we will look them into map so this is thornwith's classification So first we have AAR, AA-R sorry, so AA-R is here and here, okay. So this is tropical wet climate, okay. So tropical wet climate here, rainfall occurs in all season and we have dense rainforest which grow here, okay. So we have dense rainforest here. So these regions are actually found in western coast along the western coast as well as in Tripura and Mizoram. Then next we have BAW type of climate. So BAW type of climate it actually suggests tropical humid climate. Okay. So here we have thick forest growth. Okay. This region have deficient rainfall in winters and this region is found in eastern slope of western ghats and as well as in west bengal okay so some of the part of west bengal as well as the western ghats they have similar type of climate so here After that, we have BB-W. So, this BB-W, it is temperate humid climate, which is mostly found in the part of Assam, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Nagaland. Okay. And here, rainfall is deficient in winter. And this area have quite a good growth of vegetation. Okay. The next we have ca W okay so CAW is here okay CAW it covers large part of peninsular India and this area is comparatively low and dry okay so this area is having comparatively low rainfall hence it is dry and it is suitable for grassland only okay so it includes most part of peninsular India. Then we have CA-W- so CA-W- is actually it is similar to CAW, CA-W but the only difference that lies is that rainfall okay. So this area it gets rainfall in summer season whereas this area it receives rainfall during winter and it covers most part of Tamil Nadu and neighboring parts of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Then we have C B dash W. Okay. So C B dash W is here. Okay. It is temperate subhumid climate which receives okay. It receives moderate rainfall and it lies in the 
northern plain gangetic plain of india okay the next we have da dash w type of climate so da dash w type of climate is actually it is tropical semi arid climate and it is found in most part of rajasthan okay and it also includes as we can see the northern part of gujarat okay so this region is suitable for steppes type of vegetation okay so this was da dash w then we have c d b dash d okay so d b dash d is actually a temperate semi arid climate where we have rainfall which is deficient in all the seasons okay and this climate is found in jammu and kashmir and it is suitable for steppes vegetation okay now this uh, thornwit said that this area is having matlab thornwit said that this area is suitable for grassland but because we have major rivers that are flowing in this region okay so this area is very good for cultivation okay this is our grain re if we call it it is grain re of india punjab haryana region and this gangetic plain okay so this area is c b dash w and this area is having steppes vegetation okay that is d b dash d the next we have d p dash w okay so this d b dash w it is similar to d b dash d with only difference is that it is rainfall deficient only in winters okay so it was rainfall deficient in all the seasons whereas it is deficient only in winters okay it includes part of punjab haryana and rajasthan as well as some parts of rain shadow regions of uh, of the peninsular india okay then we have d dash d dash is actually tiger type of climate and here it is found in jammu and kashmir then we have himachal pradesh punjab uttarakhand in the west and if we look in the east this area is also d type of climate which includes the part of arunachal pradesh sikkim and some part of assam okay so these two areas are d dash type of climate then we have e e dash sorry so e dash is basically a cold tundra type of climate which is found in the higher reaches of himalayas okay so it is found in the higher reaches of himalayas now lastly we have e a dash t okay so this is the last one it is actually extremely hot and dry climate okay and it here the rainfall it ranges below 20 cm okay and this type of climate is found in western rajasthan okay so this is the thar region so here we receive very less rainfall so this was thornwit's classification next we will come to trivartha's classification so trivartha's classification if we see trivartha's classification is basically modification and simplification of copen's classification okay so if we simplify copen's classification we will have trivartha's classification and his classification was given or presented in his own book that is entitled as an introduction to the climates okay so he actually recognized six major climate type in the world okay that is so these six were first one is tropical humid climate 
then second one is dry climate then we have third one that is humid mesothermal climate then we have humid microthermal climate okay then we have f just a second d is humid microthermal climate then we have e that is boreal climate okay then lastly we have f that is polar climate okay so these six are actually the total climatic regions that trivartha has given okay along with it an additional one that is h so h it represents undifferentiated climate of highlands okay so 6 plus 1 is actually his classification now out of these six and one the climatic regions in india are actually four that is a which is tropical mon uh, sorry tropical humid climate then we have b that is dry climate then we have c that is humid mesothermal climate and lastly we have h that is undifferentiated highland climate okay climate of highlands so these four are in the climatic regions of india so looking into them one by one first we will look into a category that is the tropical humid climate so a category is actually having two type two parts that is am and aw okay so a, a is tropical humid climate where the temperature does not fall below 18 degree celsius okay so this two subdivisions first one is am am is actually tropical monsoon type with average annual temperature of 27 degree celsius okay and rainfall here is over 250 cm now if we look into the area then we will see that some parts of tripura sorry tripura and western coastal plain okay so these two areas are having similar type of climate that is am the next we have aw type of climate in a category so it is also in two regions this is basically a tropical wet and dry type of climate okay so tropical wet and dry savanna type so temperature here remains at 27 degree celsius but annual rainfall is much less than am okay so here we have annual rainfall that is about 100 cm now entire rainfall that occurs here is in uh, summer season okay and the major part of peninsula okay as you can see the major part of peninsula region as well as northeastern state of mizoram they experience this type of climate okay so this was about a category now we will look into b category b category it is actually dry climate in which annual rainfall is always less than 100 cm okay so we have three sub categories in b so the first one is bs bs is actually here so it is tropical sorry it is semi arid and steppes which is found in rain shadow area of western ghats so as we can see the western ghats they lie here so it lies in rain shadow area of this region okay and the average temperature here is 27 degree celsius So the average annual temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, and the rainfall is below 100 centimeters. And the rainfall it also occurs during summer season. And this type of vegetation they support grasses. Okay, so they support grasslands. Next we have BSH. BSH is here. It is tropical and subtropical. desert climate in which average annual temperature is above 27 degree celsius 
okay so the temperature is above 27 degrees celsius and the rainfall it declines it is even less than ds that it is 50 to 100 centimeters okay and it includes large part of gujarat then we have rajasthan this whole strip then we have southwest haryana which is included in it okay the next we have at last in b category we have bwh bwh is mid latitude desert climate which is found in western rajasthan so in western rajasthan we can see this type of climate and here rainfall is even less than dsh it is it is uh, lowest till 20 centimeters and even lower okay so it never rises above 20 centimeters and obviously this area will support xerophytic type of vegetation that is thorny vegetation so this was about b category lastly we have c category c category is mesothermal or subtropical climate in which winter is dry and cold okay so we have only one in c category that is caw okay so caw is actually here the temperature in winter it falls below 18 degrees celsius most of the rainfall it occurs in summer and amount of rainfall it decreases as we move from east towards the west the reason i have already told you okay okay so this was caw and caw in india it receives rainfall even during winters which it receives from western disturbances okay so in the western parts we receive rainfall here by western disturbances then lastly we have h h here and here okay so h type of climate it in indicates undifferentiated highland climate where the temperature are invariably low okay because the temp the altitude is high so obviously the temperature will be low and now here we have snowfall in the winter and rainfall is caused by monsoon winds in summer and by western disturbances in winter okay now most of the himalayan region including jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand sikkim arunachal pradesh they have this type of climate so this was h type of climate so these were the climatic region given by trivartha now lastly we have all these were foreign scholars okay now we will look into indian scholar that is rl singh so dr rl singh is very eminent geographer and he presented his climatic division of india in 1971 now he basically divided india into 10 climatic region regions based on temperature conditions of the hottest and coldest month okay so hottest month that is mainly the hottest month in the summer summer season and the coldest month in the winter season so both these categories were taken in temperature and annual average average annual rainfall was another category okay so on the basis of these two elements he gave or he divided india into 10 climatic regions so these climatic regions are pre-humid northeast okay so as the name suggests it indicates the areas of northeastern states okay so it includes the areas of northeastern state which are including sikkim assam arunachal pradesh nagaland tripura mizoram and meghalaya okay the next the july temperature here is the highest temperature okay and the temperature is 25 to 32 degrees celsius and it falls up to 11 to 24 degrees celsius in winters that is in january okay 
annual rainfall in most of the places is 200 cm but there are few places like Mawson Ram and Chira Pumji which receives rainfall or which records rainfall over 1000 cm. Okay. Now next that is second category is our humid Sayadri and western coast. Okay. So these includes western ghats that is Sayadri and its western coastal belt extending from Narmada Valley in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. Okay. So these two, in between these two, we have this strip which is having the temperature in January of 19 to 28 degrees Celsius and the temperature in July of 26 to 32 degrees Celsius. Okay. And the average annual rainfall here is about 200 centimeters but we have some places especially the western slope of western ghats which receives higher rainfall okay now next we have third category that is humid southeast region okay so humid southeast east region it covers the area of odisha west bengal chhattisgarh and jharkhand okay now the January's temperature is 12 to 27 degrees Celsius, whereas the temperature of uh, July is 26 to 34 degrees Celsius, respectively. Now, if we look into annual rainfall, the annual rainfall is between 100 to 200 centimeters. Now, if we closely look into the categorization, we will see that this is according to the declining rate of rainfall okay now the fourth category is our subhumid transitional zone so transitional zone is actually it is between the low rainfall area and higher rainfall area so it is between them it is like a transition area between them so it embraces eastern part of uttar pradesh bihar and northern part of jharkhand so here january's temperature is 9 to 24 degrees Celsius, whereas the July's temperature is 24 to 41 degrees Celsius. Okay, now the average annual rainfall here is 100 to 200 centimeters. Okay, then we have fifth category that is subhumid littoral. So, subhumid littorals they as we can see they lie in the eastern Tamil Nadu and coastal area of Andhra Pradesh okay it is not so much that's what we can okay so these categories are basically over here and here we have the line view okay so these are included in it so here if we see the hottest month is in May okay so in the hottest month the temperature it rises up to 28 to 38 degrees celsius and in january the temperature dips up to 29 20 to 29 degrees celsius okay the summers are dry but the winters are wet okay they receive they receive the rainfall that is 75 to 150 centimeters okay so this is their rainfall and they receive rainfall in winter season by the retreating monsoon okay now in the winter season the wet months are November and December <coughs> Sorry. then we have next category that is sixth one sixth one is our subhumid continental type of climate subhumid continental climate it is primarily found in Ganga plain okay so this area is our continental subhumid continental climate where the temperature in January is 7 to 23 degrees Celsius whereas the temperature in uh, and the hottest month if we see is uh, July where the temperature it ranges up to 26 to 41 degrees Celsius okay the average annual rainfall is 75 to 150 centimeters the next we have seventh category that is semi-arid and subtropical region okay 
so semi arid and subtropical region it this climate prevails in satluj yamuna, yamuna water divide which includes area of punjab haryana eastern rajasthan and union territory of delhi as well as chandigarh okay so this whole area is included in it now this area it receives annual rainfall of 25 to 100 cm and the temperature range if we see january we have temperature of 6 to 23 degree celsius whereas in may the temperature rises up to 26 to 41 degree celsius okay now then we have eighth category eighth category is basically semi arid tropical type of climate it includes as we can see large part of gujarat maharashtra then we have part of telangana then we have some part of karnataka okay chatisgarh madhya pradesh so these area have this type of climate and the temperature it varies from 13 to 29 degree celsius in january whereas if we look into july the temperature is 26 to 42 degree celsius the average annual rainfall it varies from 50 to 100 degree celsius degree centimeters 100 centimeters so 50 to 100 centimeters now the ninth category that we have is arid arid is actually the area of uh, rajasthan okay it includes area of western rajasthan as well as the kutch region of gujarat so now this area is having extremely dry climate and the annual rainfall that we get here is only 25 cm now at some places if we look like most western parts it it is as little as 10 cm now july temperature it shoots up till 20 to 40 degree celsius and even more like 49 degree celsius 51 degree celsius and january's temperature it is 5 to 22 degree celsius okay so in rajasthan the temperature is much higher and if we look both into annual range of temperature temperature as well as diurnal range of temperature it is very high now we will this must must be confusing that why the diurnal range of temperature is very high see this is a landlocked area okay so this is the landlocked area so here we have only land okay and the rivers also do not drain this area so this area being a land here the when the sun rises the land heats up very fastly okay so because of which the temperature during the morning uh, the sorry the day time it is very high and if we look into the temperature of uh, night the night temperature is very low because the land it radiates it he it's heat back very fastly okay so the range of temperature if we look into this region it is very high the last category is west himalayan region so this climate is found in west himalayan region which includes jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand now if we look into july's temperature july's temperature is 5 to 30 degree celsius whereas the temperature it dips up to 0 to 4 degree celsius in january the average annual rainfall if we look it is 150 cm and rainfall is mainly caused by southwest monsoon in summer and by western disturbances in winter okay so these were the whole categories by of climatic region which was given by dr arun singh okay so with this we complete our climatic classification So that was all for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's lecture let's meet in our next class till then take care and have a nice day